What's up guys, just Joe GT Cap here. Today I'm here to talk about my thoughts on the new Apple redesigned Lightning Dock Connector. So as you guys know, the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 5th generation, as well as the iPod Nano 7th generation will feature Apple's new Lightning Dock Connector. So, I am pretty sure from now on, Apple will be having the Lightning Dock Connector on the featured devices, not only to save space, as you guys know it is 80% smaller, having just 8 pins, it is a full digital signal as opposed to analog, and it is also reversible, which in my opinion is probably one of the best new features of the Lightning Dock Connector. Because as you guys know, the 30 pin Dock Connector was very, very hard to plug in. It was, you had to line it up and if you plugged in the wrong way and I was also fine if Apple did choose to go ahead with a standard micro USB. However, that also does have problems if you do plug it in upside down. So I definitely think it's a very good idea that Apple did make it smaller. I did just see some footage off Detroit Borg's unboxing. Go ahead and check him out. He's a great YouTuber. And from what he compared it to, it does look much, much smaller and thinner. So, as you guys know, the iPhone 5 is what Apple calls the world's thinnest smartphone. However, it is not. There's some small, small, small phones out there that people do not really know that are thinner. But a main reason is that Apple did compress everything down just to save as much space as I can. As you guys know, the processor is 22% smaller. They are also using a nano SIM card that is 40% smaller. So overall, they're just trying to pack in everything much more tightly. So to conclude, for me, it's not really a problem that Apple has converted its um, cable, which I don't really mind. I'm fine with it. I think it works great, and I am looking forward to trying it out. However, even though Apple does make a change, they're making their consumers pay for it. The adapter for the 30 pin to new lightning dock connector will cost you $30, which is, I think is completely nuts. $30 is a bad enough price, but if you're buying an iPhone 5 or a brand new device, I think it makes a lot of sense if Apple just included it or let us have it for free because we're already paying at least $300 for that iPod Touch, $150 for the Nano, and in my case, I just paid a good $783 on an iPhone 5. So why don't you just include this an adapter because it's a change that Apple is making. The consumers might not like it, but to not make the consumers feel mad about it, Apple should at least give us a free adapter, or at least one a free adapter, but $30 in the first place is already far too much if, you, if someone's planning on buying another one. I think something like a $10 to $15 range is the highest Apple will want to go, but what I don't understand is how Apple's evidently trying to make a profit on us off these adapters just because they want to make a change. In the case that people are kind of disregarding the new features and kind of saying Apple did that to suck their money out of our pockets because $30 for an adapter really isn't worth it. You can even buy a home sound or a little sound alarm clock for 30 bucks. So what do you guys think about this? I'm pretty sure a lot of you will agree with me that the new change I guess is an upgrade but first off it is $30 for an adapter and that the new adapter apart from its size and all that the cable may not have many of its advantages apparently Apple does say it will have a little bit faster transfer speeds however I don't think there will be a huge difference as this is still lightning 2.0 which is something I also don't get as I don't know why Apple isn't going towards a 3.0 as now all the Macs and all the other computers on the market are turning to a 3.0 which is a significant speed increase from 2.0 so thanks for watching guys just wanted to put my thoughts on the new Apple lightning dock connector thanks for watching please stay tuned for all my comparisons, my iPhone 5 unboxings, um, probably some input on the iOS 6 tomorrow, but the next few days I will be preparing for my iPhone 5. I had a very, very busy, tiring week at Out Trips and also the Apple event trying to cover everything. I'd also like to welcome some new subscribers. I have been getting many subscribers lately. I'd like to thank everybody for that, and I just want to welcome all the new subscribers. Please stay tuned to some more giveaways and some more news. So this next week is being very, very exciting. Stay tuned for it. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.